Roger Patrick, this side and watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, this is uh, our third tutorial in the game development series with Python and PyGame and here we will be building car racing game, okay? So in the last two tutorials, we are trying to making this game and we were able to create this road background in the car, okay? Where our car was able to move, okay? Left or right. But the problem is our road is static. Uh, we are not getting the feeling of that our car is actually moving. So here we are going to use a trick to make that uh, look like that our car is moving for this what I'm going to do is see we have a window here let's suppose this is our window okay in between this window we have a road okay uh, it was something like this what I'm going to do is I'll be just uh, this is road and currently this is static this is not moving at at all what I'm going to do I'm just going to create two copies of this road okay so let's make two copies of it uh, I'll be making something like this okay what I will do is these two copies will start moving toward the download direction just like this okay both of these will start moving toward the download direction so this uh, this one here is let's say uh, just wait a second okay so this one here I have selected this road what will happen this car will start moving slowly toward the download okay and at the same time uh, let me see if it working or not okay so it's not working Okay, so at the same time, this one is start moving toward the downward too. Okay, so these will both start moving toward downward, and then then a time will come when this will just go outside the window, and then this road will just cover this window. Okay, so let's say this cover this road just covers the window. Now what will happen when this road just gets out of the window? I'll just move this road back to at the top. Okay, so now what will happen? The second road just covers the window, and the first road just gets out of the window. Okay, like this. Now the next thing, uh, again the same road will start moving downward, it, it will keep moving downward, okay. So and again this one will just move downward and when this just gets out of the window, we will just put it back at the top, okay. So what will happen, this will give us a feeling that our car is moving instead of, okay. Here we are not letting our car moving in, move in the forward or the downward direction, okay. Our car will remain static and it will only move in the left or right. However, our road will be moving, okay, which will give us a imagination or appearance that the car is moving so for this what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a class here class road we will wrap it in a car class class road like this and now it has a init function so def init let's create the init and it will take self then we need to load the image if uh, I think I have loaded the image somewhere here in the last tutorial so let's just uh, load this image from here okay so let me just cut this lines and paste it here we will change the name here of the image self dot uh, it will be save dot image self dot image and this one also be self dot image so let's just tab it so it will also become self dot image okay uh, here we are transforming it so uh, to scale it to the uh, road okay here also we need to change the name to cell dot image that's it it looks good now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a update function for before that we are going to create few variables uh, first of all where we want to display our road so our X will be 30 then there are two roads we have two roads okay the value of two roads okay so let me just go back here uh, the x value that is from the left x, left side this value is 30 pixels and from the y for the first image it will be 0 pixels and since in the second image is at the top it has a uh, y of negative uh, uh, height okay so x will depend same for both of them however the y will change okay so this y will start increasing and when it gets equal to the uh, height of the window we will just make it back to the top this is what we have to do so cell dot y1 since we have two images so for the y1 we have the y value 0 and then we'll have cell dot y2 for this also the y, uh, y value will be 0 okay then i'll be creating one more value cell dot move and initialize it with true okay and let's create a function uh, method def update and here uh, or the first argument is self so self and then it will take a speed argument this speed argument is will define how fast our road will move okay so 
if the value of cell dot move is true okay so using uh, if we just make it false we can just stop the road the road moving from moving okay so if the cell dot value is true what will uh, what we will do is we will just add the speed to y1 variable and then cell dot uh, we will do the same with the uh, y2 variable also so speed okay now here we are making the roads move toward downward what next we have to do if one of the y1 gets greater than equal to the value of height so h e i g h t what we have to do we have to reset its value okay here i have set the wrong value of y2 we have to change it it will be negative height actually since it, it it's outside the window at the top of the window we can see okay so if uh, if the value of y1 gets greater than height it means it's just going outside the window then we will just make it back to the top so cell dot y1 equals negative height let me just copy this lines and paste it copy and paste it here we have to do the same thing for y2 so y2 like this it looks good okay so this is the update part then finally we have to make the draw part okay they have draw first argument is self then the window where we want to display the road and what we have to do win dot blit self dot uh, image and here we are not using the rect argument instead we can directly use the x and y self dot x comma self dot y1 okay and then win dot blit self dot image where we have to display it self dot x and self dot y2 okay uh, what else we can do we can just put all of this code inside a reset method we'll do it later okay so this will help us to reset the value of the roads okay so it looks good now we can just import it inside our class uh, main file so road let's import it now uh, we have to create an object of this road so we can just create it here so road equals road and we need a variable called speed so let's take the speed equals to the 3 so it will move 3 pixels per second at 3 pixels uh, per frame sorry not per second okay so here instead of uh, displaying the road here we were displaying the road what we can do we can just call the road dot update to uh, display the things uh, or display our road okay so let's just do this thing also So road dot update speed and road dot draw when so if I just run this this should work fine we shouldn't be getting any error let's try so yes see the road is moving and it's giving us the effect that the car is moving now the road here doesn't change because there are two copies of road uh, see there's this small gap you can see uh, this is actually the second image just above it okay so once it gets out the window the second image will be transported at the top of the first image so this will keep happening uh, we'll fix this small gap don't worry about it now it looks good the second thing that I want to add is uh, let me just first put inside uh, these things inside a reset method they have reset self argument and let's just copy paste these things but sorry not copy paste we can just cut it and paste it here okay and then here we can simply call the cell dot reset we are doing it uh, so that we can the re reset the value of road when the new game starts the second thing that i want to add is i want to create few trees around the roads okay so it can give us a better effect that the, there are few trees incoming for this also we can create uh, roads uh, sorry trees here okay and then uh, def init and then self and then this will take arguments like the po uh, position of the tree where we want to display it okay so you can just take it like this self x comma y like this and then uh, we will just 
choose a random number between uh, let me uh, okay so we have to import random module first because we need to uh, generate a random number okay why we are generating a random number we are generating a random number because in the assets folder we have a trees folder and we have four images here one two three four okay so we have to select a random image from this that's why we need to generate a random number we can do it like this type equals random dot randint okay so here it is and here we need to pass the values so i want a random number between 1 and 4 including 1 and 4 okay so it will generate a random number between 1 and 4 then we we just need to load that image self dot image equals pygame dot image dot load okay and here we need to pass the path for image so here it's inside the assets folder then inside it we have a trees folder oops sorry my fault we don't have to use curly braces here trees and then inside it we have a image okay so type uh, this is a number dot png this type value is one two three four either one of it okay looks good then we just get need to get the rect out of it self dot rect and you can get the rect like this self dot image dot get rect then you need to set its x and y so self dot rect dot x equals x and self dot rect dot y equals y okay then we need to create two update function update and draw functions so def update so self and here the speed with which the trees will move okay so the trees will also move to a downward direction okay so here we can simply do self dot rec dot y plus equals speed we are not changing x value it will remain same def draw self and win here win dot blit self dot image on self dot rect okay so this we have done previously this should do the job and for this what I'm going to do I'm going to create a list see we will we will be having multiple images okay multiple trees if there's a single tree we can simply create one object if we have multiple trees you need to create a group or list we will discuss about group in a minute before that let's just see the list okay so we can do something like this tree list uh, it's an empty list okay now how I want to how I want to generate uh, this groups sorry this images for this there's a trick I'm going to use see we have a counter variable here okay and the counter variable its value will keep increasing uh, with each frame okay so what we are doing going to do we are just going to add one to it counter plus equals one okay so if at any time if counter is divisible by mod sorry mod by 60 is equal to zero if means since we are adding one to counter at every frame if the counter is divisible by 60 we are just going to create a uh, tree so we will create a tree equals here we need to take two things first of all let's just import it in our uh, main file so we have imported the tree class now we can just call the tree uh, class okay so we are just going to create an object of it tree the next thing is we need to define uh, its x and y positions so let me just comment these lines so what uh, values of trees we can pass here x value see there's a little yellow gap on the left and little gap yellow gap on the right okay so we need to pass x and y positions here so let's just pass here okay so, so what we are going to do is we are going to randomly choose values first of all to make uh, create random we have to use the random numbers okay random module then here I'm just going to use random dot choice here remember we are not using the randint here I will pass two values and you have to pass this two values in a list so negative 5 it's the x value for the left 
side and width minus 35 it's the value okay so it will simply choose a random value between negative 5 and width minus 35 okay and for y we are simply going to pass minus 20 looks good then we can simply add it or append it tree list dot append tree looks good now we have to update it so to update it you have to uh, generate or update sorry you have to use a for loop so for loop you can do something like this for tree in tree list tree dot update speed and tree dot draw win if i do the thing it will simply create trees and we will start drawing them so yes see a uh, see a tree on the left was generated and then one on the right looks good then again on one on the left it's random okay it's not decided that there will be left on right then left and right it's randomly selected okay there's a better do thing to do better uh, way to do this and why we need a better way because uh, let me just show it here okay so it's running looks good here see the tree is generated it's uh, moving downwards but see once it reaches the bottom it has no use so what we can do we can simply delete it otherwise it will take memory okay so it will just uh, slow down our game so we have to uh, think of a better way to make it or uh, to use it in a better way we have uh, already class in pygame that is pygame dot sprite dot sprite it's used to create sprites now images in games are known as 2d games are known as sprites okay so you can just inherit from this super class pygame dot sprite dot sprite once you inherit it you have to initialize this super class first so you have to use the super keyword then your class name then self uh, dot in it okay so these two lines are must otherwise you will get errors okay that's good now here uh, we can check if self dot rec dot y is greater than equal to height then we can simply kill the tree so self dot kill okay the next thing is uh, once you do it here you need no longer need to use a tree list okay instead we can use groups okay a group is same as list instead we just don't have to iterate on them okay so tree group let's just change the name here group and here we can create a group like this pygame so you can only create groups when you inherit from pygame dot sprite dot sprite otherwise you will get error so pygame dot sprite dot group this way you can create a group okay then finally here we are uh, the place where we were appending the it to the tree list here we will make tree group and here to append it we have a method called add that's it okay now here you don't need to create a uh, iteration the groups automatically iterate on the all the elements of it you just have to call it like this tree group dot update and tree group dot draw so it will update all the trees that are inside the group and as well delete all of them and here also tree group so that's it if i just run this the this will remain same nothing will change okay the only thing is the trees will be deleted automatically so we don't have to care about them okay so yes it looks good they will be deleted automatically here the game is little slow so if you want you can change its speed we will learn about it in the upcoming tutorial okay so in the next tutorial we will be adding cars incoming cars and obstacles to our game so yes this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next